When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. So what do you got there? We're lucky enough to get some davits off a neighbouring boat. Um, Catalina 48. Thanks, uh, Dale. Cut down the middle. Trunk on the men. A few old supports you can see there. We've removed, which we'll have to put back onto our boat. Had to do a major adjustment on the base plates. Funny how resourceful this marina has been and the people that are on it. Usually the people that come into this spot over here, because they're not permanent, that spot's usually open and usually the boat that's coming in and out of there is um, either selling something that we need or something that we didn't know we needed but we did need. So Lee's just putting them on and off, on and off until we get it right to take up to the welder. Need my help? Okay. So what are we looking at here? <laughs> He's trying to hide. He doesn't feel like talking into the camera. But I'll try and do my best for you guys. Um, what we've got here is some davits from another boat. And Lee has cut them down to size and so there's a join in the middle up here all the way down the middle and he's cut them to fit onto our boat because our boat is a lot narrower than the boat they came off and he's reinforcing the davits with all these bits here like this bit here this bit there 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 all these little bits so he's cut all them out he's super clever my husband he's cut them all out and then on Friday so not tomorrow the next day we're having a welder come out and weld it all together so this has been uh, Lee's project for a week two weeks he's not in a talking mood you know why I'll tell you why let's let's film this so. So today we got a, our life raft that came in a box and it got delivered and we thought beautiful but it's in this case that we asked for a capsule we didn't get a capsule did we no, we got a release <laughs> and uh, we paid for a capsule and it got sent down from Brisbane and now the guy's got to come pick it back up, take it back up, repack it and then send it back down again. Stuff just doesn't get done when it's supposed to. <laughs> Reinforcements here. Got some 25mm inch tube. Made up some plates like this. And we'll also have show some... Show us, show us your plates. So we'll also have some backing plates go underneath. And that should be the end result there. Once that's welded onto here, it should have a nice bit of support for our tender. Looks good. I don't know a lot about structural things, but to me, you've done a real good job. So hopefully the tender doesn't fall off the back <laughs> and we'll be right. It don't have a tender yet. We've got to get a new tender, so. We've got the welder welding up our davits. Lee's done a really good job of putting them together. Alright, so today's jobs are what, Bow Bow? You look pretty prepared to go somewhere. Where are you off to? Up the mast. I'm going up the mast. 
What are you doing up the top of the mast? Well, we're up the mast. mast. We are going to finish off our wiring. We have pulled two new wires through and have a new LED uh, tri-light, which is a white light, and our red and green. Uh, I've got my assistant with me. She's got her bosun's chair. She looks like she's carrying everything. Are you doing anything today, Daddy? my bosun's chair. Hopefully. You're gonna do it all, aren't you? Daddy's assisting you. That's what really happens. Yeah. Fella's ready to go. Oh, are you all comfortable there? I'm not gonna fall out and fall down. All good? Yeah. So Bella's up the mast waiting for Daddy. Hi Belle. You right? Now we gotta pull this big hunk of a sexy man up the mast. So like we've lucky enough we've got pegs up our mast, so he climbs up. I don't actually winch him up. He does all the hard work. I just make sure he doesn't fall. wires up, got a new Shakespeare VHF antenna which has been soldered and I just ran a little bit of self amalgamating tape over this just to, you know, a little bit of extra security from the water getting in. I have to tidy these up, seal it, make sure there's no pressure, nothing rubbing. Um, here's the wind vane we put on, a little Ray Marine. It's working, so yeah, I just want to tidy up, seal all these wires and get our new masthead light somewhere here. And uh, hopefully we're in action. What do you reckon, Bella? Ready to roll? Yep. Drill, please. Got our drill. And we've just put our little template up here. I'm just going to drill for our uh, screw to fix our... Light on. I've just put green and red label there so I get the orientation around the right way because just even looking at these LED lights, I don't know, they all look the same. It's very hard to see which one's uh, port and starboard, but I've just done a pre-check before for two reasons that A, to make sure the unit was working before I mounted it up here and wired it in, and uh, B, yeah, just for the orientation of it to make sure it's in the right uh, direction. So I was just doing a check, so I've got two lines here, I've got my anchor light, which I'll cut shortly, and I was just checking, double checking that one was our nav lights before we connect it all together. And I just did, through a little voltmeter here. Okay, Sarah's going to turn on the running lights first, see if they're working. Yep, there they go. And there goes the white lights, and then she should turn the white off, green off, bang. Okay, we can tidy up up here now. So, just want to seal, heat shrink, and pull the covers over and tidy it up. Just got a little bit of self amalgamating tape here, but I've also got Bella here at the, with the blowtorch. A little bit of heat shrink over there. Once Bella heats that up, Bella can. 
big hole more than his belly can. So Lee and Mick are putting on our signs for Catalpa. Look at our new stickers on Catalpa. Look at that artwork, Mick. Well done. He's a bloody champion. Thanks, Mick. Thanks, heaps, Mick. I think Bella's going to kidnap Chewie and take her with us. What are we doing today? Big day. Um, we've got rigging there to put on. Here it is, it's all on the jetty there. So we're in for stainless rigging. Alright, well, we better get you up the mast uh, and see if we got this we'll right. See how the first uh, lowest day goes. And, uh... Fingers crossed. Old setup. And this is our new setup. So I just feel we're eliminating a lot more that can go wrong. And, uh, this is yeah. real sexy, honey. Look at that. Shiny, shiny. It looks shiny, good. Shiny, shiny. I don't really care if it's strong, it just looks good. Kid, I'm going to give you a to that looks perfect. By the time we tighten that up, oh, it's really that. what I was after. They did good. You were anxious about that, weren't you? Yeah. You didn't sleep very well last night. No. Did you? <laughs> so. He was at uh, the crack of dawn, waiting to get this on. All good. One down. How many to go? Another eight more to go. Get back up the mast. <laughs> I think so. Shit. I just got in trouble. I just gave Lee the wrong wire to put up. I was supposed to give him, what was I supposed to give him? The lower shroud on the uh, starboard side. And I gave him the forward port one. He just freaked out because it wasn't long enough. Well, it was totally my fault. This is going to be a long day. Okay, try again. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> this one fit? Woohoo!
quite seized. Have you ever rigged a boat before? Oh, rigged many a boats. In your sleep? Just not in this lifetime. <laughs> We're getting there. It's still standing up and we've nearly got all the wire on, so. Yeah, you'd think you've rigged boats before. Maybe you could be a rigger. Done a good job. So far, fingers crossed, we've still got two to put on. So Lee's just putting on our final stay for our rigging. We got all the rest on yesterday, but um, Cyclone Debbie came through and was it yesterday or the day before? The day before we got it all on. We just had one more to go because it was the wind picked up in the afternoon so it was a bit dangerous. Even though he got up just now and it's still really windy. But this is our final one and now we've got all new ringing. Which is awesome. So it all worked out really well. Hey babe. Last one, just got to turn the rig after this. Have to put it on the port and starboard tack and see how it all shapes up and good job. All good. First boat of rigging. First so no, rigging job. Works. The mast stays up, we're laughing. But um, we saved a lot of money doing it this way. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, we nearly didn't do it because it was going to be too expensive. Well, my magic man over here worked out that he could do it. That's it, last one and it fits. Woo! Well, hey. Oh, it's a bit of a gloomy day, but you can see all new rigging on Catalpa. She's looking good. I'm ready to head off as soon as this bad weather comes down. Okay, thanks for watching. Join us next time as we, what is it? <laughs> what are we doing then? Okay, wait. <laughs> the thumbs up or subscribe. Just Happy let Easter. me do it. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we leave Tweed Heads. Don't forget to put a thumbs up. <laughs> And below. <laughs> oh, wait, if you don't know how to support us, support us on Patreon. There's a little link below, just press that and you can be our Patreon. Hey, you okay. say it. You say that. Right. Wanna follow us on Instagram or Facebook? Links are down below.